welcome to the channel dedicated to discussing key energy facts. I'm your host, Tushar. I'm a retired energy scientist with over 25 years of experience in the energy field. For more information, please visit my website. From a practical viewpoint, it is crucial to understand the major obstacles to a rapid energy transition. In the last episode, we looked at two key obstacles, timely access to critical minerals and land resources. In this episode, we'll review another key obstacle, energy security concerns. Energy drives the modern world, so energy security is crucial to every country. A country is energy secure if it has an assured, reliable and affordable access to energy. For energy security, it is important that a few countries do not control the global access to energy. Poor policies, conflicts, civil turmoil or natural disasters in these countries could lead to major disruptions in energy supply. One or two countries should not be able to severely impact the global energy supply. Currently, the global energy supply depends mainly on the access to fossil fuels. Fossil fuel technologies require a large amount of fuel, that is, they are fuel intensive. On the other hand, manufacturing of low carbon technologies require large amounts of materials, that is, they are materials intensive. The energy transition dictates that massive amount of low carbon technologies will need to be deployed every year. As the energy transition progresses, the global energy supply will increasingly depend on the access to the materials required for low carbon technologies. How do fossil fuels compare with the low carbon technologies in terms of geographical diversity? Global data from the International Energy Agency shows that the production of oil and gas is far more geographically diverse. Oil production is spread over several countries. Similarly, gas production is also spread across several countries. The production of coal is less diverse. China has a 50% share of the global production of coal, but it also uses over 50% of the global coal. Use of coal is being phased out in many countries, so the large coal share of China is not a concern for global energy security. Low carbon technologies require large amounts of critical minerals. Details were discussed in the last episode. Energy security is a concern for low carbon technologies because critical minerals are far less geographically diverse. The current situation about critical minerals and low carbon technologies is discussed in recent reports from the International Energy Agency. The data is startling for most critical minerals. The top producing country controls half or more of the global output of rare earths, graphite, cobalt, lithium, and platinum. China has two thirds of the share of the global production of rare earths and graphite. The Democratic Republic of Congo has over two thirds of the share of cobalt production. Australia has half of the share of the global production of lithium. South Africa has over two thirds of the share of the global output of platinum. Unlike oil and gas, just one or two countries dominate the supply of the critical minerals. This is a concern for global energy security. The critical minerals require a processing step following their extraction. This step is required to achieve the purity level that is required for final use. The processing of critical minerals is even less diverse. China totally dominates this space. China controls 60 to 70% of the global processing of lithium and cobalt and 90% of the processing of rare earth. It also controls close to 100% processing of graphite, 80% of the processing of silicon. The overall dominance of China in this space is alarming. It has a large share of the global extraction and processing of many critical minerals. Chinese companies have also made major investments in countries such as Australia, Chile, Congo, and Indonesia that have large capabilities for producing critical minerals. China also dominates the mass manufacturing of low carbon technologies. It has more than a 70% share in the manufacture of silicon based solar PV modules. Chinese companies have a 55% share in the manufacture of wind turbines and a 65% share of battery cell production. Such domination of the entire low carbon energy supply chain by a single country is a major concern for the energy security of the other nations. Access to materials will be crucial for a successful energy transition and the energy future of each country. Why? Because a massive amount of low carbon technologies will need to be deployed each year going forward either to replace fossil fuel energy or to replace the low carbon technologies at the end of their life. Lifetime for batteries are about 10 to 15 years, while those for solar and wind power are about 20 to 25 years. So each country will require assurance 
of a robust access to all materials and equipment required for low carbon technologies in the short and long term. The recent shock to EU countries resulting from Russia's war with Ukraine is a painful reminder. Most countries will strongly prefer to decrease their dependence on autocratic or less stable countries. China is widely considered as an autocracy. So its total domination of the low carbon energy supply chain will be viewed as an unacceptable risk by many countries. To lower global energy security concerns, it will be important to diversify the low carbon energy supply chain. The other nations will need to increase their share in the supply chains of low carbon technologies. But a rapid diversification away from China will be extremely challenging. China has dominated the low carbon energy space because it is uniquely placed. It has large reserves of several critical minerals. It has access to very large, low cost and skilled workforce. It was an early mover. Also, it has a political system that can greatly influence investments and the speed of projects. The combination of these attributes is unique. Most other nations cannot satisfy these conditions. This tells us that the other nations will take decades to markedly lower the Chinese dominance in this space. This substantial delay, which is very likely because of global energy security concerns is a major obstacle to a rapid energy transition. Massive amounts of low carbon technologies will need to be deployed every year for the foreseeable future. The speed of the energy transition will depend on the speed at which the other nations can break the dominant hold by China on the low carbon technology supply chains. But this is likely to take decades. This can markedly slow down the transition efforts. Clearly, Global energy security concerns are a major obstacle to a rapid energy transition. See you soon with another episode on this crucial topic.